Oh my god. It finally happened. So I'm just not used to this Florida sunshine. I can feel my face burning, but finally hanging out with Captain Anna. <laughs> Met up this morning for coffee, obviously, and uh, she's got to go back to work, but I think it's time to hop on the bike and go explore. That was an absolutely lovely morning ride to get coffee. I just forgot how good it feels to wake up, hop on the bike, it's not freezing cold outside and just going to meeting your friends for coffee. It's literally the little things in life that just make me make me love it. So if you guys didn't catch this video, definitely go watch this video first because it's kind of going to explain why I'm not in Ohio anymore. But the one thing, well, I made myself a little list. I was like, you know, if you're going to go to Florida and you're going to live there, you got to do things that you don't do in Ohio and specifically my, I made like three rules for myself. I need to film something every single day. So far, I've been doing very good. I haven't been filming excellent stuff, but I've been filming every single day. So easy peasy. Number two, you have to go outside every single day. Um, that's also been very easy to do down here in Florida. And just the, uh, any excuse to get outside and go do something is it's easy I don't know I just keep saying easy but another thing that I want to do is something that I don't do in Ohio and I really would like to get better at this but if you can't tell I'm using Google Maps right now all I'm doing you guys is I just want to go ride I don't care when I don't care with who I don't care where so I get on Google Maps and I just open it up and it I look for attractions um, and it just shows me you know like attractions everywhere so obviously here in the Orlando area, it's going to be like, oh, you know, Disney World and all of that stuff. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I want to go to unique places to eat, unique roads to ride, parks. I want to go see an alligator. <laughs> um, I still have yet to see an actual alligator in the wild out of all of the times I've been to Florida, I still have yet to see a gator. So I just got online and I was like, oh, let's go find a park uh, close to water. And dude, it's just, I love this. Oh, they're taking down a tree. Oh God, oh God. You got it, you got it. Good job. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm gonna go get lost, man. And honestly, I was just thinking about this yesterday. It is so empowering to not have to worry about, you know, using maps. And I, I don't know, like a lot of you guys, obviously, I mean, myself included, I am from the days, I remember the days of traveling and not having GPS and it sucked. <laughs> it, it was doable, but it just, you had to really, really pay attention. And of course now with GPS, I am like, I can go anywhere. I can do anything as long as there's cell service. Like I'm good. I'm a big girl. I'll get myself home. So I've just really been thoroughly enjoying being able to go and do whatever I want. Another thing I want to do is I, so something I want to do more of this year that I just I was really bad at last year, um, taking pictures. I want to take more photos. I want to document more events that I go to in photographs than in just video. And I know that's like kind of counterproductive to what the social media world thinks that you should be doing right now. Like I'm so tired of seeing reels. I'm so tired of seeing shorts. I'm just tired of it. I want to look at photographs. I want to sit there and get lost in a beautiful picture, beautiful colors, beautiful motorcycles. Like I don't need to be entertained like a 12 year old, you know? So that's just something I want to do more of this year. I just want to take more photos for me. It's not necessarily for social media, just for me. Cause like this area is so beautiful. And if I take a quick video of it, all of a sudden it's just gone. You ride right past it. It's gone forever but photos really do last forever. So I'm heading over to uh, an area, to, it's a little park over on Lake Apopka. And I'm just excited, I really just wanna, <laughs> I wanna see the wildlife, you guys. I'm obsessed with like wildlife documentaries and native species and all of that stuff. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be a fun day for me. I don't know if it'll be a fun video for you, but all right, we gotta do 20 miles an hour in a school zone. So this person behind me better chill, dude been up my butt this entire time oh look at their little uniforms that's probably not very 
that's not nice to film children. They're they're teenagers, but like still. I'm just gonna look this way. Oh god, there's more over there. Okay, so we're just gonna look down. Don't film the children, her two wheels. That's that that's weird. Oh gosh, they're everywhere though. Are they just now getting no, it's lunchtime. They must be switching classes or something. So cute. It's a gorgeous area. I need to Nope. Okay, definitely can't help but film them now. Oh, those ones have purple sweatshirts. <laughs> Good hustle, guys. Good hustle. <laughs> That was cute. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for a road called Porter Avenue. Is that this one? Yep, it's this one. Do not run me over this freaking car behind me. Jesus Christ, get away. Finally. Just me and you. I still haven't named the BMW. I was thinking big, beautiful bagger, big, beautiful BMW, BB BMW. It's so funny, I've had a couple people obviously throw a leg over on this bike and they're just like, it is so heavy. How can you maneuver this thing? I don't know, man, I, I really love it. I'm gonna tell you right now, having the reverse on this bike has absolutely saved my ass. The Airbnb that I'm staying at, the location where I park the bike is on a very, very slight downhill. So every time I park it, I have to like leave it in first gear, roll it, make sure it stops. And it's on a very slight downhill, so I, absolutely cannot back this motorcycle up that hill with just leg power alone and i was like damn i'm glad i brought the bmw because there is no way i'd be able to do this on the road glide absolutely no way so every single day that i hop on the motorcycle to leave i have to put it in reverse and just back it up back it up to the road and thank god seriously I, I would be so stressed out if i had to physically manhandle a 941 pound motorcycle every single time i tried to leave okay Montverde park lake apopka overlook where do i i think i turn left dead end all right that seems fair oh scenic walking tour absolutely um, oh, this is an actual dead end. Where am I supposed to park? That's someone's house. Piece of hell. What is ha where? What is going on? All right, da -da -da. looking like a damn fool out in front of these people's houses. There's no parking. How is this a park? I'm getting my leg workout in now. Okay. Oh, is this the park? That's it? Are you for real? It was... Th that's the... Okay. There are like four parking spots. <laughs> well, this plan just backfired on me. Um... Okay, another dead end. Okay, let's turn around and go park the motorcycle because this is embarrassing. All right, yep, look, we're gonna have to use reverse, man. Plop it down into reverse. There we go. All righty, out of reverse. Doink. People next to me probably grabbing their popcorn have a grand old time watching me man maneuver this behemoth there goodness gracious uh, okay well all right this literally feels like somebody's house but we're gonna go figure it out let's go florida has so much wildlife like, if I do stuff like this in Ohio, you're probably going to see some squirrels, a couple birds. But I feel like in Florida, I see so many animals. And, like, I'm obsessed with it. This is gorgeous.
Oh my god. Oh my god. It finally happened. That's an alligator. Oh my god. Hi little buddy. Are you dead? No, you're just sunning yourself. I literally just looked over the side and he was laying right there. Is he dead? Oh god, I hope my first wild alligator isn't dead. <laughs> okay, I think he's dead. Okay, well my very first time walking in a little park on a nature trail and I see an alligator. So I'm gonna go check out the other scenic trail. I feel like an alligator hunter or something. <laughs> it's like a Pokemon, I gotta go catch them all. That was a little baby. If I see a big one, I might, I might freak out actually. Gators, gators scare the hell out of me, but <laughs> walking down another trail and <laughs> I just keep hearing like little things scurrying off in the distance. And I know it's like lizards and squirrels and stuff, but I'm still just like, and this walking trail, it's nice, but it's not very big. Joke's on me, that walking path did not lead anywhere. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back and stare at the water for probably four to seven business days because I love it so much. Oh, pardon me. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, thank God. All right, it's been about 30 minutes and his back leg moved. <laughs> yeah, he's just, uh, he's warming up. Or she. Nancy little baby. I can't believe I finally saw an alligator. Also, I'm getting like super nervous standing on this little walkway. I just saw the biggest snake I have ever seen in my life, um, in real life, slither through. I'm <laughs> just like... There's so much wildlife out here. I've literally been out here for almost an hour and I'm just obsessed with this. I love it so much. All right, I'm gonna say bye to my little gator friend and I wanna go check out another uh, river walk or something. Like, I'm having way too much fun at this. So I'm gonna go get on the bike and head over to another one. Lakes everywhere, man wanted to go ahead and remind you guys if you're watching right now if this is the first time you've ever seen any of my youtube videos please do not subscribe uh I, I ask you that because i don't want people to subscribe to this channel unless they've seen at least three of my videos so if this is your first one please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it but go check out some of the others if you are interested in following along on my moto adventures if this is the third video of you watching unfortunately you have to hit by law you have to hit subscribe because we're friends now um it's committed and i want you here with me one of those clingy girlfriends usually it's so funny when i go out riding i like to go to places i like to go uh go get coffee or go meet up a friend for lunch or just go like ride to a destination there is something about knowing that I'm in Florida right now specifically to ride motorcycles instead of being at home and looking for an excuse to ride motorcycles which honestly it's it's, it's not I don't have to search that hard for an excuse to go ride a motorcycle but being somewhere where it's just actually lovely to hop on like I'm in a thin jacket right now and it's so beautiful outside but just to hop on the bike and I'm like, oh, let's go check out another nature preserve. Honestly, I might just go somewhere else. I might just keep riding somewhere because it's so lovely outside. I guess it's doing wonders for my mental health. <laughs> and when it's just this beautiful, like I don't need to go fast, man. We're doing 42 miles an hour and just stunning. Sorry, if you're from Florida, this might seem so stupid to you, but like, we just don't have this kind of greenery in Ohio, especially not this time of year. And I'm just blown away by how freaking nice out it is. Lord, crazy to think that places like this exist when you're stuck up in an Arctic winter tundra. So if you're looking for a sign, this is your sign, man. This is your sign 
to get the hell out of wherever you're stuck at and just take a trip, take a vacation, go ride, go do something. If you can, if you can. Um, where is this taking me? I'm about to go down a dirt road. Am I allowed to drive back there? What the? Um, no dumping. What does this say? End of town maintenance, private driveway begins. That's a private driveway. Wait, where am I? Crap. <laughs> Shit. Um. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to figure something out. Well, once again, on the uh, tiniest little hill. So I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> back this big ass bike up. Oh man, I love reverse. Just look at this. Effortless. Make sure I don't back up into anything. I will say, balancing a motorcycle going in reverse is weird. Okay. Let's, uh, let's figure out where we're going. Life is an adventure. Don't mind me. Let's ride through a sleepy little neighborhood. Is that a walker? Yo, you left your scooter. You know what? I just decided it's such a beautiful day. I'm gonna go see what's going on over at the Blockhead Garage. Officially at the Blockhead Garage and uh, Blockhead whipped out the Grom. Now everybody's taking turns having fun. Can you uh, physically loop a Grom? Oh yeah. <laughs> you almost loop a what <laughs> Te almost Te just now. did you really <laughs> center. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Did you hear a little uh, <laughs> so, fun. so much fun. Well, fuck, she's on the sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it goes everywhere. It does. Steven. Oh, it's like Steven. sleepingly light. I'm Take not used to it. Try it out. Per usual, whenever I come to the Blockhead Garage, there's a restaurant very close by, um, exactly four miles. It's called Swamp House Grill. It's a riverfront grill. When Jordan and I were down here a couple months ago, we, <laughs> I'm not exaggerating you guys. I think we went and ate at that restaurant almost every single day. One time we actually ate there twice in one day. So I'm super excited to get back. I forgot I have a t-shirt I packed a t-shirt with me that I wore when I went to this restaurant or I bought when I went there. I should have worn it today. That was stupid. So while they're wrapping things up at the shop, I'm going to go ahead and go down to the Swamp House Grill and get myself a table and a nice iced tea. That sounds lovely. One of my favorite things about being in Florida and especially being uh, surrounded by a bunch of people who ride Harley Davidson. Obviously, I have many Harley Davidsons in my garage up at home. I love showing my friends this R18B. Seriously, I make everybody sit on it, stand it up, start it up. It is just such a foreign experience compared to what you're used to on a Harley Davidson. And like, that's my favorite part. You know, you like what you like and different bikes are different cups of tea, but just seeing somebody start this motorcycle up for the first time and having it jolt them side to side, 
is probably one of my favorite things. And I just love being able to share that with people. It is actually quite chilly in Florida. I, I, everybody makes so much fun of when Floridians are like, oh my gosh, it's cold, blah, blah, blah. I don't care where you are, you know, like 35 degrees is 35 degrees and it's chilly. <laughs> it's not 35 degrees right now, but it's just funny because I, you know, I have my Gore-Tec jacket with me and stuff, but man, this bike has heated grips and heated seats and it's saving my ass. Like it, it just feels so good. Well, rolling up to Swamp House and as per usual, not a whole lot of parking spots. Oh, there's one right here. This isn't handicapped. Alrighty, I'm gonna park here. I'm so excited. Okay, let's go check out the food. Ooh, we got that. I'm so glad I can show your face now. <laughs> so we got blackened gator bites, balsamic potato chips. Yeah, it's... <gasps> blackened mahi fish tacos. What you got there, princess? Black and blue burger. Literally what I ate last night with no bun. It was good. It was good. Look at that sunset. Oh my god. And this like romantic couple here. <laughs> That's gorgeous. <laughs> your food good? I'm just happy to be here. I'm just happy. <laughs> Yum. And it's officially the next day. Again, I have a feeling this is going to be a repeating common thing that happens in these uh, Florida vlogs, but man, that was such a chilly ride home last night. And I will say the heated grips and the heated seat on that BMW, scalding. Like I had to turn it down. It was insane, but <sighs> just enjoying this absolutely beautiful view and thinking about where I'm going to go ride to next. If you made it this far in the video, seriously, I appreciate you more than you know. And until my next one, you be good and I'll see you later.